Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. Hello, and Oscar. To- Hello, Scott. And together we are the Gymfluencers UK. The drink we're trying today is Rambullion. No, it's not. It's Rambullion <laughs> Navy Strength from Abel Forbes. As you might have guessed, it's not gin. Sorry. Anyway. There we go. Rambullion. Rambullion, yes. Is said to be a... Co- Hold on, I'll get this right because I got it wrong last time. Rum bullion is said to be a cockle swarming spice <laughs> concoction based on the kind of rich, full bodied rums the seafaring fraternity would have enjoyed centuries ago. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. At the core of this drink is a blend of high proof Caribbean rum, to which is added Madagascan vanilla, zesty orange peel. The rest of the recipe is a secret, but we do know that it's finished with cassia, cloves, and a touch of cardamom. And this is the big brother to the regular rum bullion. Ooh, like all of the bottles in the Able Force range, it's wrapped in paper and beautifully decorated and it dipped is. in black wax. A lot of black wax. It comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 57% Whoa. for £51.95. pence. It's recommended neat or over ice or with a squeeze of lime. But the last time we tried this one with lime, we didn't really like it. So, they're going. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm not having that. So, um, I've got fried lime again for dinner. Yeah, that's tonight. it. You've got fried lime. Because we love this so much neat, it doesn't need lime. So, we're not going to do it with lime. And as always, be trying it neat first. Blah, blah, blah. Let's crack it open, shall we? Right. What? One of as many little bits. Oh, there's See? loads of bits. I know, there's I loads know. of bits. Can you get that off my finger, please? Yes, Thank there you go. It was very sticky. Oh. oh, what's brown and sticky? A stick. Oh, yeah. That's my first Christmas joke. <laughs> camera optics can. It's called a joke, it's camera optics. It's a joke. Do you remember what those were? Uh. Uh. Right. So, oh. we're trying it neat and we're drinking it. There'd be no montage in this one, it's just us enjoying this drink. <laughs> oh, that smells. That mm. smells alkali. That al- alkali. Alkali. I can't speak. I've got a sore throat. I know. Don't tell many people about that. That's better than that one. <laughs> it is packed full of flavour. That is for sure. Once again, you can't tell it's uh, high alcohol. It's 57% and you really can't tell. Um, there's oh, no, a nice... I can tell. Wow. See, that's probably where... We're very different on this. Maybe Rabin's my thing. Um, maybe it's the cloves. Oh, the cloves. Oh, I've the cloves. I, I am not... Mm. I'm loving the cloves. Right, I can I can, I can, can feel there's alcohol in it, but it's not phasing me. And the cloves, to me, have balanced it. It's lovely. This, this is great. I this is... I think I think the flavor... So it's like that, but it's just a little bit more pepped up. Um, this, this was fantastic, loved this. I gave this a 10, loved this. This is really, really great. I think both of them, for me, are what I would put in a hip flask. I think they're what I'm gonna carry around with me during the daytime when I'm feeling a bit cold, a little bit miserable. You know, if I'm well, on a, a bus- a little bit miserable, that'll be every day of the year. <laughs> if I'm on a bus, you might see me with my hip flask, drink, drinking it, keeping myself warm, scarf on, hat, gloves, Dark glasses. I'm in disguise. Mac. <laughs> no, not a Mac. Yeah, I. Oh wow. I, I I prefer this one to that, even though I loved that one. I I'm loving this one more. It's a nice rum flavour. Um, the the, sp- the spice is nice. It's not overly rummy rummy. It's got legs. Oh, it has legs. <laughs> They're spreading all over my glass. Look at that. But um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really liking the spice in this. And, and oh, this is brilliant. This is so wintry and Christmassy. This is the perfect time of year for it. Because we've made this video either before or after Christmas, depending on when he edits it. And it's either the summer or winter at this oh, period. He's, he's really lazy so with editing. Fill in the gaps yourself. Yeah. He's going like this. <laughs> Don't give us evil. Oh, he's going, I'm not that. Oh, he spoke. He's, I'm not that bad anymore. Well, you're better than you used to be. Hold but, on, um, did your voice just come out? But he's, I heard a voice, but... Um, Make it up for yours. He, he needs to be careful because obviously he doesn't want to get on Santa's list. Santa's naughty list. Or Santa's the Easter egg bunny. 
depending on, on where this is it. Yeah, but anyway, so getting back to the, the rum, I was gonna say the gin then. These guys make gin and we haven't reviewed any of their gin and we have a few over there and we have one out there as well. Oh yeah, go and um, prove it. Go and prove it, I'm gonna prove, prove it. it. Go and prove it, because people may not believe, believe us. There you go, look, there There's you go. one there. There's one. Oh! Oh yeah, God. I, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was a Christmas one. No, yeah, it's I know. not a Christmas well, one. Well, I just saw, I saw some lovely gold stuff on it. Well, I've only got two hands. I'm not bringing the other one out, but... There you go, look. We do represent. There you go. Yay! So when we buy stuff, we tend to buy things mm. as a whole group. Um, we do have another one over there. Do you want me to get it to prove or not? Yeah, I do. All right, he wants I me do. to get it to prove. But anyway, seeing as we're not having a montage, you can have a... We're filling, we're filling the time out with this. We're padding the gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Like the chin then. Oh, no, that's terrible. There you go. So we've got that one there as well. So I'm really liking this, and if I'm liking this, I'm really hoping that I'm going to be liking these as well. I, I've got to say, I have found a rum I dearly, dearly love that can add to my little. I have a very small list of rums that I really like. This is here. Oh, we haven't even scored it yet. Which one? Oh yeah. Which one would you prefer though? If I got you an, if I got you another bottle, which one do you want? Fifty-seven. Not because of higher alcohol, because for me it seems to um, mm. dissipate quicker, and it's it's getting into my system easier. <clears throat> See, I'm loving both of them, but I think if I had to choose one, I'd probably go for the slightly weaker one, only because I'd be on my back. Oh, I think I've got. Have I got your one? No. Oh no, there we go. Yeah. Right. Let's score it. Okay. Go. It's an 11. Wow. It's an 11 for me. I am so happy with this. I, I, I'm i loving it. Because I've, I've felt a little bit lift, left out of some of these dark, darker drinks, like the rums and whiskies and all that. And this is now a rum I really, really like. Aww. Let's go on my tiny little list that I have. Mm. Yeah, what's that little violin? Your tiny little violin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claudius. That's look <laughs> I, I got the violin today. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think it's definitely one if you like rum and you like kind of wintry flavoured drinks, you need to get it. You need to get it. It's it's really, really lovely. Um, I didn't think it'd be this good. I'm so glad because I, I'm going to be honest, I have seen this brand around for a while and like he says, we haven't reviewed these. I don't think I've even tried one no? in a pub, right. And I just thought, oh, is this style over substance? Lovely, lovely bit of packaging, blah, blah, blah. But then we've had loads of bottles that have really good packaging and really bad contents. So far, I'm gonna be, I think this, if these two are anything to go by, these are gonna be a treat. And the one I wanna do is that one there, the old, the old Tom. Tom. Because I, I, this has given me a really sweet tooth. And I'd mm. like to try the old Tom. See, I'm thinking of the Dams and Bay. Mm. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay. Well, I think you'd like probably like that. Grapefruit and rosemary. Yeah. And that's the regular. That's the regular. So uh, I, I think that'd be the one we go for. Well, stay tuned. It <laughs> depends on me whether which one I choose. To whether go for. which one I choose. Yeah, I've got a sore throat. I'm not feeling very well. You hardly ever mention it. I never mention really it. Really don't I never mention, mention it. it. Anyway, um, do your bits. Does it, is this helping your throat, by the way? I think it is. It's making me, it's making me like you say, more. I say, I can, I can feel it. Just, it's just clinging to my throat as it goes down. I love it. I think if you if you haven't got it, get it and put it in a hip flask and have it with you all winter. I'm going to do that. I want this over vanilla ice cream. Oh. There you go. I've made a choice. Right, he's made a choice. That's my dessert today. Do your bits. I'll have limes for dinner and dessert. <laughs> Key lime pie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, horrible. Mm. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you've had any of these. The range. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 Cheers.